What's up guys, it's your boy Cyber Reaction back here with another video. How you guys doing today? Make sure you stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like button. Today we got a video how to make Proto Putty Modify Uju. I don't know how to say it, but hope you guys like the lighting. I got some better lighting and I got like a setup for lighting. If you guys want to know the setup, just comment down below and I'll do a full setup of what I do. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this video now. For this project, I'm going to show you how to make Proto Putty. Ooh. Proto Putty is a cool. That's cool. I've never seen this before. In nearly any shape, but after 10 minutes, it magically turns like a waffle. Bouncy, <laughs> and stretchy rubber. Grant Thompson, the king. All you need for this project is a box of food coloring. I might do this one day. I'm not sure. 100% silicone. It's extremely important you get silicone number one. And while you're here, double check your tube is marked 100% silicone, just to be sure. Now to minimize the mess we're about to make, it's going to be helpful to have two disposable paper bowls on hand. That's Grab cool. Some of the food coloring and squirt a generous amount into one of the. It's going to be neat at the end. I know it. It really is. The your proto putty color will become. Music bumping though. The caulking goes in next, so carefully squeeze a big blob of it directly. People be doing some crazy stuff. Feel like you've got enough. Keep in mind that silicone number one releases acetic acid vapors while curing and smells. I don't understand none of that. I don't understand none of that. So you might want to think about mixing this up outside, or at least in a well-ventilated area. Use something like a popsicle stick to slowly fold the silicone and food coloring together. And make sure you don't mix it too quickly, or it might splash out and stain your clothes. You'll be able to tell when the two components are combined because they blend nicely into a solid and uniform color. Mm. That look like ketchup. Don't do not eat it, kids. Don't eat it. And we've only got about ten minutes of work time before this all starts hardening up. But the problem is, this stuff's ridiculously yeah, I can tell. And extremely difficult to work with. But if you drop the blob into a big yeah, I can of tell. starch, then generously coat the outside with powder, the silicone becomes a lot <laughs> funnel cake. Because the powder prevents a the funnel ball. <laughs> now, if you don't want to turn your hands into no. colors or end up with super sticky fingers, now is the time to put on a pair of disposable gloves. Course, I like his little, um, what to call it? His little, um, his little, what you call it, you know? His little, what do you call that? Watermark mark on his channel. That's pretty cool. A lot manageable. After around two minutes of kneading the cornstarch in, the color of your silicone putty should brighten back up and start feeling a lot like Play-Doh. When it's thoroughly mixed to the point where it doesn't stick the to the music bump anymore, it. the proto putty is finished and it's ready cool. for immediate use. You can mold it, squish it, or press it into whatever shape you want. Just remember, you've only got five to ten minutes of work time before it turns to rubber, so whatever you're doing, make sure you do it quickly. I tried making impressions of some stackable plastic bricks, and you can see that after only 15 minutes, the rubber is already so stiff we can pull it out of the mold. Popping the bricks out, you can see they left a perfect impression in the putty and created a fun little mold that looks remarkably similar to the kind I made in a previous video. The final like a waffle. Is extremely stretchy, very rubbery, and amazingly durable as well. Now this idea works because general purpose silicone is activated by moisture. So by blending in a generous amount of food coloring, the silicone gets triggered and instantly begins to... Food color does all of this, guys. Like, for real. All of this. Interesting ergonomic stress ball made just for me. And perhaps this would be a quick and easy way to make a custom pair of rubber handle grips as well. Now, if you want to have even more fun with your proto putty, try mixing a batch with neon food coloring instead. I use neon green to make a batch and press it over an acrylic mold I designed for a different project, then gently wrap the edges up around the sides to let it set. 20 minutes later, you can see the rubber is cured, and we've got ourselves a cool little... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what they say? I don't know what they said, guys. Really did not know what they said. I made a clip for my workbench to prevent power cables from pulling out of place. And I even tried wrapping some around cool. the to make an ergonomic handle grip that fits the shape of my hand perfectly. Now I was curious to see what the Proto Putty would do if we didn't use any cornstarch at all. So I whipped up another big batch and slopped it straight into the mold. Surprisingly, it still only took about 20 minutes to completely set up into a version even stretchier and perhaps even more durable and resilient than it was before. The problem is that without cornstarch, it's difficult to work with and really hard to remove air bubbles trapped at the bottom. Now check this out. If you want to fuse two of your rubber creations together, all you need is a dab of fresh proto putty to bind them. Press the pieces together, let the putty cure, and just like that, the two have become one. Proto putty is a fun rubber This guy just made a grenade. He made a grenade out of silicone and putty. Wow. Well, it's putty, I guess. 
silicone wristband. Then press wow, silicone, bro. Which made a custom rubber base for watching movies on my smartphone. This wow. Multi-purpose, bro. The office, and I even tried making a screw-on lid for mason jars, which is easy to use and surprisingly watertight as well. Proto putty is fairly stretchy in general, but the thicker you make it, the more durable it's going to be. It works great for impression casting, like making half molds of little glass bottles, but if you're tempted to use it for making custom candy molds, you might want to reconsider. Construction silicone can be harmful if swallowed and can cause serious side effects if it gets inside your body. So rather than using it to make candy molds, it's probably better just to make toys, crayons, or little rubber erasers instead. Well, now you know how to use a few caution. common materials to make huge batches of proto putty on a budget. So you can channel your power of creation and make anything you want. By the way, there's a different kind of food grade silicone you can use for making candies, and I'll put a link in the description to where you can find it. Well, that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Okay, guys, my thought on that video. Man, that's really unique. It really gave me some inspiration. I really like how he used all the silicone and all of that while he's um showing you like he created different things that that really inspires you to actually go out and create things. Like I like creating YouTube videos. That's me and that's me and his thing to do. Like that's me and his thing to do. Like we both love doing something. That's both inspiration to all the people watching. If you want to start in my advice, and I'm gonna give you the tip of the day. If you want to start a YouTube channel, go ahead and start a YouTube channel. Do something creative. Do something people ain't doing. I know people doing reactions, but I want to be the biggest reaction channel ever, ever, ever. But I know it's going to take some time. It's going to take a while since this is only my sixth video. And if you love this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. It's your boy Cyber Reaction. Peace out, homies, and stay.